Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is gonna be a little um, sticky, if I might say so myself. Today we're gonna be talking about how to quit masturbation. Oh, hi, astaghfirullah, look how he talks about masturbation. Before we proceed with this video, please make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. This happens to be a huge taboo topic, but a topic nonetheless that so many of us are struggling with. I have made a video about this in the past and I'm gonna link it in the cards right here, but this video is gonna be a fresh take right before Ramadan. You see, a lot of us enter Ramadan with a lot of baggage and that baggage is our sins. Just because it's Ramadan and the shaitan is locked up your bad habits are not and just because Ramadan starts doesn't mean that your bad habits disappear one bad habit that a lot of people are suffering with is masturbation masturbation is scientifically proven to lower your testosterone level and lead to other bad habits such as pornography which could then lead to a lot of weird fetishes that could get you in a lot of trouble the amount of guilt that you feel after you're done pleasuring yourself leads to a ton of low self-esteem which could then make you feel like sh so now i'm gonna give you three tips to help you quit Masturbation. Tip number one, identify your state. Your state means your mood or your temperament or overall how you're feeling. Right before you're about to choke the chicken, before you cut the watermelon, before you open the doorknob, before you hammer the nail, before you wash the car. All right, these aren't even real ones. I'm just, I'm just having too much fun, all right? You need to identify what state are you currently in when you have that little itch that you want to scratch. Are you feeling a state of happiness? Are you feeling a state of excitement? Or are you feeling a state of boredom? Boredom? Are you feeling a state of loneliness? Are you feeling a state of sadness? Are you feeling a state that you're tired? Or is your state that you're kind of stuck in a mundane task that you don't like doing? And the only way for you to get out of that state is by masturbation. You have to become super self-aware to figure out what state you're in. And things like pornography and masturbation only really take place when you are in a lower state to get you out of that state, meaning you're not masturbating if you're truly happy and doing something fun and exciting. You're generally masturbating if you're feeling low, down, depressed, bored to get you out of that state. Which leads me to my second tip to help you quit masturbation. The top priority is to talk about masturbation and stuff for love. Uh, you are using an unhealthy tool such as masturbation to get out of a specific state. You're using masturbation to change how you feel, and that's the problem. It's all about the tools that we are using to change our current state. A lot of people use food as their tool to change how they feel. If someone is sad or angry or depressed or low, they might eat a bucket of ice cream just to feel better about themselves. Those are all tools and mechanisms used to change your state. But you personally are peeling the banana, choking the chicken, slapping the monkey, waxing the turtle. <laughs> I need to stop with these names. In order for you to change your state. So use more positive tools to change your state. Use a different tool such as maybe exercising, reading, going out for a walk. Changing your state in a positive way can only happen when you first identify how you're feeling, so then you could use a more positive tool to get you out of that state and into a better one. And the third and final tip to help you quit masturbation is make doa. Now this might sound like a cliche, but once you've done exercising, all of these actionable items that I've given you, the only true cure is in the hands of Allah. We can put all of our best foots forward, but if Allah doesn't help us and if he ain't on our side, then nothing is going to work. Take all the right actions that you can possibly do, but it's ultimately us asking and pleading and begging Allah to help us get out of this evil situation. Increasing your remembrance of Allah and making dua to Allah will help you defeat this bad quality of masturbation and make you feel and become more successful. Increase your remembrance of Allah, increase your dhikr, make sure that you're doing your adhkar morning and evening. Because when Allah is on the front of your mind and always moist on your tongue, you're less likely to commit such evil actions against yourself. Well, this is not for watching, guys. I hope these tips helped you quit masturbation. In the month of Ramadan, this is the beautiful time for you to make dua and to draw closest to Allah and for you to stay away from such bad habits, especially 
after you're done fasting and you have rested and you've eaten and you're full and you're up to late nights, those bad habits will come back. So be careful. And think about these tools and resources that I have provided for you. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing by hitting this button right here. Take a look at my previous videos by hitting one of these videos right here. Make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up so that this video could benefit more people. And until next time, I'm out.